that gun picker, you know, really took some shots from you guys. But I'm kind of impressed by this toughness on Um. Honestly, I didn't think about it, but you know, I, I guess he did do, he did, you know, continue to get up. So I applaud him on that. How hard was it to get the energy back today after those two big night games and all the emotions and everything? How difficult was it for you guys to get back going again today? Well, it, it was difficult. We had to adapt, you know, getting back to a different schedule, you know, two 8 o'clock games, prom time, and then just a noon game. You still have to be able to execute like you would, you know, on those primetime games. So, I mean, it took us a while. It took us too long, actually. But once we got it going, we got it going, you know. Does that cause you concern for Friday's game being a new game as well, or do you think a lesson was learned? Today? No, exactly. A lesson was definitely learned, you know. Not that we were, but we can't uh, become complacent at all in any matter concerning this team. So going into this, you know, this short week, and we just plan to prepare. You know, better and better each week, and we're going we're gonna to handle up when we go down there to Pittsburgh. Shaq, it's not a big senior class, but they've certainly been through a lot. How good does it make you feel to, to get them this W on the home field for the last time? It feels amazing, you know, because, you know, me being a, a, a firm believer in this university, I watched, you know, I was watching Chad, and I was watching Barrios, and I was watching, you know, just the senior class that we have, and they really endured it all. And for them to stay here, you know, some people left, some people did whatever, but they stayed here and really believed in the program and the process, and they really earned everything that's, you know, befalling us right now. So, I mean, I love them, and I'm glad that we were able to, you know, send them out right at Hard Rock for the last time this season. But it's not over yet. Jack, was it fun to uh, share the turnover chain with the uh with the running back who was playing special teams. Yeah, yeah, it's an amazing feeling. You know, if anybody on offense would get it, I would think it would be Travis. You know, he's just, he's just so avid in his type of game. I mean, he's relentless in all areas of the ball, whether it's on, you know, special teams, he's a gunner, offense, kickoff. He he doesn't care. He really gives us all. So, you know, he, he earned the turnover chain, you know. What makes Braxton so special? Sir? What makes Braxton Berry so special? I, th I think... Well, he said that big time players make, you know, big time plays and big time games, but he continues to do it and he makes the plays in practice. You know, he's not one of those guys who, who tries to, you know, be a, a game guy. You know, he does it in practice and by him doing it in practice, you know, I, I feel that, you know, it brings a lot of hope towards the receivers and the whole offense because when you see a man really, you know, caring that much that he's getting it done in practice, you know, when people don't want to, when we got class after practice, but he cares enough to give his all no matter what, you know, what else is on his schedule. How can you not do the same? So I really feel like he's a beacon, you know, for our offense. He does a lot for us and, you know, he gets us better as a defense because chasing around is definitely a task too. Chad, we asked you last week about winning the Coastal for the first time today, season for the first time since 2003. What did that mean to you guys? Well, honestly, I did not know that stat, but I mean, it's amazing, you know, this train that we're riding right now, this, we're just trying to keep it going, you know. It's, it's, hard to, it's hard to explain, but if we get, you know, if we start looking around for all the stats and stuff and things that we're breaking and we'll, we'll lose sight of what the true goal is, and that's just making it to Charlotte. And once, you know, we're trying to win it all. That's all we're focusing on. So if we break a couple records, you know, here and there, then that's just a bonus. In years past, uh, you know, last question. Years past, a noon game against a team that maybe doesn't have the marquee value as some of the others, the stadium would be half full. But today, a huge crowd to support you guys. How much does that mean? This last game for those stands to be pretty full out there and for them to be behind you. It means a lot. You know, the community and you know, I call it the. The, the state of Miami really cares for the Miami Hurricanes and it's evident, you know, you see it back to back weeks and, you know, anybody, anybody would be lying if they said it didn't affect, have an effect on the game. You know, it gives us energy, you know, we make big plays that gives, you know, the whole place is just rocking. And then when our offense goes out there, it's silent, you know, so just those type of things is really important to, to any program, I believe.